Hi, I'm Kim Brown. Glad you could join me today. When you see me sitting at this desk wearing this blouse, that's the signal. This is a Kim Brown editorial video. And so far you are not required to watch it. It is completely, totally, 100% your choice. Now, have you been practicing choosing lately? Or have you gotten yourself into a funk, into a rut of thinking and feeling that there are no options or opportunities or possibilities for you right now? So you sit and wait and watch and fear. And we certainly have been fed quite a lot of fear lately. And maybe for you, your fear is ebbing and flowing. Or maybe it's always on high alert. Or maybe it's just an undercurrent of fear all the time. Consider this. If we have an emotion that we consider to be stressful, and that emotion is turned on all the time, no matter where it is on that spectrum, it will begin to numb us to any other emotion. It will begin to lull us to sleep and we'll stop living because what's the point? What if fear and any other emotion for that matter were simply messengers for us? What if fear and any other emotion was an invitation to us to wake up, to see, to hear, to ask questions so that we could make choices? If I believe that I am a stupid failure and anytime I open my mouth, I prove I'm a stupid failure, then I'm probably not going to open my mouth very often. And when I do open my mouth, if I don't feel that intense rush of emotion that is attached to that feeling that I've just exposed myself as a stupid failure, then those comments go completely off my radar. I don't even notice them. I don't remember them because they don't prove my program. And I'm always remembering and rehearsing what proves my program. And if you were to point out to me that, hey, what you just said there makes a lot of sense, then I am gonna tell you, oh no, it doesn't. And I'm gonna pick that thing apart and I'm gonna find the stupid part and I'm gonna show it to you because I am going to look for proof of my program. And the program does not have to make sense. I'll follow it anyway. The program doesn't even have to be true. I'll follow it anyway. The program doesn't have to be moral. I'll follow it anyway. The program doesn't even have to occur often. I will still follow it anyway. And what if I could ask questions of that program? So how is it that every time I open my mouth, I prove I'm a stupid failure. When was the most recent time I opened my mouth and proved I was a stupid failure? It was last week. Have I not opened my mouth between now and last week? If last week was the most recent time I opened my mouth and proved I was a failure, what about all those comments I made between now and then? If they aren't evidence that every time I open my mouth, I prove I'm a failure, then how is it that it's true that every time I open my mouth, I prove I'm a failure? How do I know? Have I never said anything I can be thankful for or proud of? Have I never said anything that brightened anyone's day? Have I never said anything that was helpful or kind or loving or beneficial to anyone? Have I never said anything that was in some way accurate? How is it that every time I open my mouth, I prove I'm a failure, a stupid failure? What if I could ask questions? For almost five years now, I have posted a video every single week. And in those videos, I have encouraged you to discover that you have an amazing mind and that you are designed with the amazing ability to change your mind, 
and no longer be limited by these programs that don't make sense and aren't even true because you really aren't broken. It's simply that you're following that program and looking for proof of it everywhere. And I'm not the only one who has extended that invitation to you. There are many others who are also speaking that same message. And during this same five-year period, you have also been invited to adopt a victim mindset. And you have been offered comfort and solace and acceptance and acknowledgement and love here. Now consider hearing what I'm saying. It is in the adopting of that mindset. It is in the identification that I am a victim. That's what I'm addressing here. If I am a victim and I'm made comfortable to be a victim, then I don't seek to be victorious. This is where I'm comfortable. This is where I'm finally acknowledged. This is where I'm finally of value. I am are the two most powerful words in any language. And it is in that identification that gets us stuck. If I say that I am a victim and you should even insinuate that I might could be victorious, you will most likely incur my wrath because this is where I am finally loved and valued and appreciated. And it certainly makes the job of my captors a lot easier. But what if I could ask questions? Now, I have seen recently quite a lot of posts on social media that have told me, this is what you are seeing, and this is what you are hearing, and this is what this means. And as I look at it and listen to it, and I ask myself, I don't really think that's what I'm seeing at all, and I don't think that's what I heard at all, and I'm not at all sure that's what that means. I want to ask questions. And I ask questions. Now, I'm not here today to tell you what to do. That is not my plan. It is not my desire at all. I do not want to make your choices for you. If I were to be making your choices for you, you would be going barefoot. You would love rocks and trees and squirrels. You'd be letting your hair go white on purpose. And you would, under no circumstances, listen to country music. Now, you're probably very glad right now that I'm not the supreme ruler of the world. And if you should hear one day a report that says an armed woman shut down the country music industry, consider asking questions. It might just be me changing the radio station in my own personal home. The most amazing experience you will ever have is the experience of changing your mind. Consider giving yourself permission to do so. You really are worth it. Thanks for watching this video and remember no matter what you've experienced in the past, you don't have to stay stuck there unless you choose to stay stuck there. Today is a new day. Consider living it. That's what I'm going to do. See you next time.